with Deb has been postponed due to rain. There's a pretty big rain front moving through. There is a flash flood watch, which has to be taken seriously, especially in the desert, not trying to get swept away in a flood. Plus, I'm not a huge fan of hiking in the rain, which is also pretty much the main reason I decided that through hiking might not be for me. I mean, I would love to through hike. I would love to through hike the Appalachian Trail. I would love to through hike lots of trails. But I would need the full year to do it because of bad weather. <laughs> I would have, I, I would just want to get off the trail every time there's massive amounts of bad weather. It's just that simple. And on the East Coast, that's like 50% of the time, which means I would need the full year because the average hike takes six months. And if you factor in that 50% rain, yeah, multiply that by two, and I would need a whole year, which is ridiculous. It's doable, but I also have to eat. <laughs> um, anyway, now I'm sitting here trying to decide what I'm going to do as an alternative. I think I'm going to check out this hiking store up in North Scottsdale. When I came back to Arizona, I renewed my Arizona Trail Association membership and they sent coupons for different places and this is a store that I didn't know existed so why not go check out a new store and see all the gear I love gear who doesn't love gear and on that note I have things in my Amazon cart that are just waiting to be purchased for example, I think I want to buy some kind of a cooler refrigerator for the BRT because the cooler I have is great. It holds the cold. It, it keeps the ice packs frozen. However, if I'm really gonna be off grid or I'm gonna be between jobs for any length of time, where am I gonna freeze my ice? That's a problem. And I mean, I don't buy a lot of things that need refrigeration, but I buy some things that could use refrigeration. So that's in my cart. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna switch out the ladder that I have for the roof nest which is a fine ladder. I'm not gonna get rid of it. Um, but I think I'm gonna get a fire ladder, a rope ladder, mainly for the times when I need to be more stealthy, like on the cross country road trip where you stay in the rest stop overnight. The ladder that comes with the roof nest is telescoping and it's aluminum and it's not terribly heavy, but it it's kind of heavy and it's really a bit cumbersome to get it to collapse, to bring it up into the roof nest. So I figure if I get one of those fire ladders, that will solve that problem because they are lightweight and very, you just pull it up inside of your dwelling. 
I still have a solar panel in the cart, but I'm very torn. I don't think I need a solar panel based on how I camp. And then I have a couple of little fun things in the cart. Well, one more utilitarian thing I have in the cart is the Yuko Candelier, which is the three candle lantern. And I am going to purchase that because not only does it give you light, it gives you heat. And since the roof nest is a very tiny space and it has coat hooks, I can hang that bad boy up and generate some heat. Anyway, let's go check out the new gear store and see what they have. Just roughing it, Adventure Company used to be an outdoor adventure company that led all kinds of different trips, but the owners decided to focus on retail and bring everything indoors and help the public with all their gear needs. They're located in North Scottsdale they are a sponsor of the Arizona Trail Association and they've been in business for two years and they have been recognized as the best small business for adventure gear in Phoenix. It's a cute little store. They have hiking clothes sleeping bags, some camp kitchen things, backpacks. And the owner said that if there's anything that you don't see in their showroom, you can order it through them. It's a cool little place. They support a lot of local artisans and small business owners. If you're looking for something unique outside of what you can get at REI, it's definitely worth checking out. 